also the world number one, the world champion, Huang Yihan, comes to centre stage. Of course, the silver medalist from the recent Olympic Games. And the disappointment to lose that final, very obvious in the aftermath of that final match. Her opponent today, well, a lady from this city of Changzhou, because it's Jiang Yang Ziao, the left-hander, who was in the final a year ago and sadly had to withdraw partway through last year's final against Wang Shaxian. It was a game an 8-5 down 12 months ago. Let's hope that she's able to give her best in today's final. Yanpa, Emi Sukumoto of Japan. So the left-hander, 26-year-old, currently number nine in the world ranking. Her opponent, as I say, is world number one. But surprisingly, for the world number one, this is her first appearance in the final of the China Masters. Four times previously, she was a semi-finalist, but this first time in the final. Fifth final of the year for her though. Won the Malaysian Super Series right at the start of the year. And since then was beaten in the all in the final the Asian Championships and the Olympic Games. All three finals losing out to Li Xiu Wei. 26 year old Yang Yang Jiao has been as high as three in the world ranking. It's been seven weeks number three that was back in 2010 so for the left hander so often been in the shadows of perhaps better known Chinese players but she's been such a wonderful servant over the years always consistently doing so well but with the likes of Zhang Ning and Zhe Zhengfeng playing at the same time as she was an up and coming youngster, and then of course Wang Lin, who was world champion, Lu Lan, world champion. Lu Lan from this city, incidentally, has been here all week watching and supporting. Lovely to see her here too. So the women's singles final here at the Leaning China Masters 2012. Event number seven on the Hosen BWF World Super Series. And so the left-hander, number four C Jiang Yang Xiao, up against the world number one, number one seed, Wang Yi Han. One of these two players will win this title for the first ever time. Yeah. Their coach is just sitting in the stand enjoying watching this one. No coaching staff involved, of course, because they're both national squad players. Now, this is actually the 13th meeting between these two players and of the previous 12, Wang Yi Han holds the advantage, having won seven of them. But when you look at their head-to-head -head encounters this year, they played twice previously, and they've each won one of them. Wang Yi Han won the last meeting, which was in the quarter-final of the Asian Championships, 
in Qingdao, here in China. And the other time they met this year was in the semi-final of the very first Super Series of end of the year, the Korean Super Series, which also happens to be one of the five premier Super Series events. Lovely rally there from the Olympic silver medalist. She's a fine athlete, is Wang Yi Han. Tall, elegant player, uses her height well, very powerful legs to move around the court. in today's final. The Dubai in the first round and then in the second round beat the Southeast Asian Games gold medalist Fu Ming Tian from Singapore. Quarter final against the number five seed, the current world junior champion Inthanon Rachanuk of Thailand. And then in the semi-final disposed of another Thailand youngster Sapsari Chai. her path through to today's final well she too had a bye in the first round and then defeated Iriko Hirose of Japan quarter final against Busan An of Thailand and then in the semi-final defeated the player who caused an absolute sensation in the women's singles event here Sindhu of India because Sindhu disposed of the Olympic champion and number two seed and then it showed away in the quarterfinal, but in the semi-final, a left-hander disposed of Sindhu in three games. 21-19 in the decider. It was an absolute thriller. It's an excellent rally.
Inch perfect. Oh, what a fantastic rally. Shot deep into that back corner, the deep forehand corner of the left hander. And that's good judgment, too. Of the front of the court in women's singles becoming just as important as it is in men's singles. surprising in the 12 previous meetings between these two players only twice has it gone the full distance oh that's nice because they know each other's games very well indeed they train together on a daily basis Point advantage in the game interval. There's a tight spinning net shot doing the damage. Behind Ying Xiao. Yep, that level. 
trying to be a one year home, wasn't born that far away from here because she was born in Shanghai. Oh, that's lovely. And there's using her height, slicing across the feathers of the shuttle, creating extra spin and therefore the shuttle dying a lot quicker and the angle it comes down is much steeper. 178 is one year on, that's about five foot ten. About a fourth inch advantage over her opponent. Deception. It doesn't matter how poor your opponent is. Good night shot. Of course, these two also met each other in the semi-final stage of this tournament a year ago. And then the first time they played on the centre show court. And it has run the three straight points from the left-hander. Judgment and well in. A good rally again. Just a little variation on the serve. Flicks in over there from Rosie Han. Oh, 
Oh, that was going out. That one certainly has. That's the one I thought was going out. Placement. And the placement was spot on. Crucial, crucial stage of the opening game. Mm. That looks a nervous error to me. the tight spinning net shot there the big lift and you can see from the position of Wangi Han's feet nowhere near the back of the court near the double service line and therefore the opportunity to play the winning smash so just one point the deficit now that nervous looking backhand and he just won three straight points and that's the way that champions respond Another superb rally. Fantastic badminton. So now on a run of four straight points from 16, 18 adrift. Now two game point opportunities. 
for the world champion, Wang Yi Han. Wang Yihan played a very nervous looking backhand and since then has played Subram Badminton to close out the game 21-18. Well, the reigning world champion being made to work very, very hard in that opening game. We'll have 21-18. And I wonder if psychologically, the number four seed, Yang Yang Xiao, whether she'll be affected by the fact that she lost five straight points to lose that opening game. Mentally, has to be very tough here. Last year's beaten finalist. Surprised there isn't more vocal support for Jiang Yang Xiao. And she was born in this city, Jiangzhou. A nice backhand. Yeah, superb angle. Really makes her opponents work. Does Wang Yi Han by playing shots like that?
if you take into account the last five points won by Wang Yihan in that opening game into this position here in the second game. She's won nine of the last ten points. And the left-hander needs to break that dominance. Oh, that's gone wide. The umpire just quickly correcting herself. It is 2 5. Good return of serve. Yeah. Set up the opportunity for the winning smash. of the perspiration. Two shots played to the same place. Oh, well, he home wasn't expecting it. Already amassed 20 titles as Wang well, Yihan. She's only 24. And last year won three of the five Premier Super Series events. First year of the Premier, of course, last year. Five of the 12 tournaments promoted to an even higher status. It's a good net shot. Spirit by Yang Yang Xiao. But I can tell you it's taken its physical toll because at the conclusion of that rally, when the shuttle landed out, the left hander was bent double, breathing heavily. We've had to this match so far. One five down she was. Just won six of the last seven points.
Try and get that one though. Great tactical play from the left hander. Physically. All England champion, won the hand back in 2009, won the title when she was unseeded. Magnificent. Oh, there was slight hesitation there from Wendy Hunt. Thought she was going to leave it, then she decided she needed to play it. And that slight hesitation cost her dear. Brilliant. Well, that cross court net shot played to perfection. Said in the early stages about the net play and the importance of it. Ah! And both these players are demonstrating their point very well indeed. So just the one point advantage. And then again, some favor of the current world champion. Well, it couldn't be any closer at a mid-game interval because there's got to be at least one point in it and that's all there is.
Mr. Yeah. She knows never really got behind the shuttle. Level once again. That shot with virtually no backswing of the racket just reaches up and clips it down across court. Oh, good retrieving. Now, once again, with that round the head shot, really not getting her feet in position. And Ying Ziao. Now you could see her body weight falling out towards the side of the court rather than following the shuttle in the direction. She's trying to hit it. Toughness really comes into its own, and I can't help but wonder whether the fact that Jiang Yang Jiao hasn't won a title for very nearly two years 22 months ago since she won a title that was the 2010 China Super Series event in December of that year. There goes another one, and in these tight situations, you get into a habit of winning. You know how to win. And of course, technically, Xiang Yang Jiao has the ability, but does she have the belief? Importantly, 
from the world champion. Two points away from her second title of the year. Herself seven match points. Look at this. Oh, that's just about the shot of the tournament. Couldn't do it a second time. Not applying the pressure in exactly the right moment. From 14 13, six straight points to get to match points. And now it's a big uphill battle for the left hander. ago she had to retire from the final here at the China Masters this year she has to suffer for second best once again so there confirmation of the score 21-18 21-14 five minutes of play.
also to the prize presentation for the women's singles. And for a second consecutive year, the home player from this city of Changzhou, Jiang Yangjiao, has to settle for second best. But for the world number one, the world champion, her first ever China Masters title. The trophy is presented by Mr. Yao Xiao Dong. As I said, Mr. Zhu Aishan, director of Changzhou Municipal Sports Bureau, presenting the mascots. Happiness Company presenting the prize money and of course our title sponsors are OSIM all the presenters and dignitaries will pose for the photographers along with both the finalists but for Wang Yihan her 15th career super series title and she won it in flame style 